Everybody used to do Rock 100. Welcome back to my Pokemon Crystal in the last part. We arrived at Azealia Town and we took care of the well and fending off Team Rocket for the first time. So anyway, in this episode, we are going to be conquering the gym. Okay, um, oh, excuse me, I kind of chopped over there, but anyway, uh, off screen, I did do a little bit of leveling up. My Quagmire is finally up where he should be now. At least caught up with the rest of my group, which is very nice. So anyway, let's go ahead and take on the gym. All right. Hi. Are you challenging the leader? No way. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Let's see what you got. Come on, give me a challenge. What part of "give me a challenge" do you not understand, you darn fool? I guess it does seem kind of appropriate because you do have that weird face on the back of your back. Back of your back. So wouldn't that mean the stomach, I guess? <laughs> I gotta stop thinking about that kind of crap. No poison! Yeah! Things are going into my favor! I mean, I gotta say, things have been going into my favor a lot ever since I started this Let's Play. I'm really happy for... A ladybug? Really? Really, man? Do you really need to go that far? I mean, I got. I probably said this one once already, but ladybug sucks horribly. Okay, let's just. Come on. You know, let's go for a razor leaf. Cause I've been feeling lucky all day. Well, not really, but I feel lucky. Critical hit? Really? Game, what do you take me for? Seriously, what do you take me for? Some... Now watch you get hit on this first move. You know... Game, if you make me lose to a ladybug, we're gonna have problems. Third time's a charm. Thank you! Third time really is the charm. Okay. Okay, there we go. Oh, double goodness. Thank you for being great. Ah. I was hoping and then I would see if I could try to avoid this one, but I guess that's basically a no go. Who are you? Hello, Josh! Nice to meet you. I can see her Hawaii and act I am now paralyzed. And I did not mean to use water gun. Okay! Come on, there we go. I do want to try to get Quagmire at least one more level before taking on the gym leader. Come on. Come on, baby. Booyah! Critical hit! Nice! And perfect! Level 13! Okay. Um, okay, good. I actually do have some, have some good items here. And I, I did get some more potions off screen, which is pretty nice. Um, I do 
don't think I'm gonna have any problems with um, the Quagmire being up at front, but I wanna try to avoid that trainer right there because. Ready, go! Ha ha! Here we go. I'm Bugs, and I never lose when it comes to bug Pokemon. My research is going to make me the authority on bug Pokemon. Let me tell you what I've learned from my studies. All right, so we got Bugsy. Uh, believe it or not, when I first saw Bugsy for the first time, not in Gold, Silver, and Crystal, but in um, Pokemon Stadium, I always thought that Bugsy was a female. But I don't know. But anyway, Bugsy's her first Pokemon is a Metapod, level 14, pure bug type, with Tackle, String Shot, and Hard End. Not bad, I guess. But if you have a Ghost type, this Metapod can do jack crap to you. I'm trying to keep this uh, kid friendly, I guess. What am I talking about? None of my videos have been kid friendly ever since my very first episode I ever done on my channel. Um, let's see here. What? What? It's plugged in. Ah, uh, never mind. Oh, wait. Oh, that's right. I never brought the thing down here. Sorry. I, I'm using my laptop as a help screen right now, so I pretty much just use it to. Um, Check the bios and upcoming trainers that are coming up, which is very nice. Alright, but anyway, um... <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, next up is a Kakuna, level 14, Bug Poison type. The Poison Sting, String Shot, and Hard End. Not a very good Kakuna, but why is this thing not a Beedrill? If I come to think of it, why isn't that Metapod a freaking Butterfree? Okay. <laughs> Very nice. Alright. Now for his last Pokemon. It is a Sight Hitter at level 16. Blunt Flying have a Fury Cutter, Quick Attack, and Leer. I like Scyther quite a bit. Right. Its evolution in every process is kind of a pain in the ass to do so, but... Oh well. Let's just take it down Chinatown. Come on. Will it burn? Yes! I am calling it like nobody's business today. Oh, jeez! What? How did, how did you... Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I overlooked something. Critical hit. Sweet. Level 14? Booyah! Very, very nice. All right. Whoa, amazing! You're an expert on Pokemon! My research isn't complete yet! Okay, you went. Take this badge! Got 1600. The high badge. Now, like I said, I don't work too well anymore. Oh, I guess it's not really much of a big deal. Do you know uh, the benefits of the high badge? If you have it, Pokemon up to level 30 who will obey you, even traded ones. Pokemon that no cut will be able to use it outside of battle too. Here, I also want you to have this. TM49, which contains, I believe, Fury Cutter? Yes. Uh, let's see here. If you don't uh, miss, it gets stronger every turn. The longer uh, your battle goes, the better it gets. Isn't that great? I discovered it. I don't really care so much about Fury Cutter, but... At least it's good to have every once in a while, but anyway. Before doing anything else, do not go to the Ilex Forest yet. I highly recommend that you get yourself healed up first. Because trust me, for what's coming up, it's something that's going to be very important that you do not do first. Okay, come on. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and put... Count Dracula out in front, and I will never do that again. Anyway, if you come up here, check it out! Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them? Ha! <laughs> Quit lying. You're not joking? Then let's see how good you are. Alright, this starts off with the second rival battle. A good new rival here, Emil, would like to battle, and he sends out Ghastly. Um... 
He will have a ghastly at level 12. Ghost poison type. But hypnosis, lick, and spite. Um. Uh, da, 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 da. Come on, take it down. Okay. One more should do it. Ugh. Oh, lick a bat. Who likes a bat? Don't, uh, don't you dare answer that question. Because I do not want to hear that. Oh, almost. Okay. Uh, next up, it's going to be a level 14 Zubat with Leech Slime, Supersonic, and Bite. Okay, he's going to have this. Uh, these first two Pokemon, no matter what starter you chose. So, at least that's going to be a thing. Alright, um, let's go for a tackle and pray it does not hurt us. Right. That was a critical hit! Are you kidding me? Come on! Uh, I might be getting myself into a little bit of a pickle right here. Okay, um, so now Quagmire. See how he does. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go for a water gun and. No! Come on, don't hurt yourself. Please don't hurt yourself. You don't even have any arms. How do you hurt yourself if you don't have any arms? Don't you dare say Pokemon logic! Hey! Yeah, at least I can it's no longer confused, so that's a good thing. My god, my Pokemon are just not well suited for this. Okay, you know what? You know what? Screw it. Screw it. Go for Geronimo at. Because Geronimo has yet to let me down at this moment. Uh, go for an Ember. There we go. Okay, um, actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and heal up uh, Quagmire here. Okay. Go. Oh, why'd you have to use Super Sonic? Right, come on, come on! Yes! Ha! <sighs> Alright. Uh, her last Pokemon. If you start it off with a Chikorita, he will have a Quilava, level 16. Pure Fire type with Tackle, Leer, Smoke Screen, and Ember. If you start it off with a Cyndaquil, uh, he will have a Croconaw, level 16. Pure Water type. With Scratch, Leer, Rage, and Water Gun. And finally, if you start off with a Totodile, he will have a Bay Leaf, a level 16, Pure Grass type, the Ground, Razor Leaf, Reflect, and Poison Powder. Ugh, that was a real mouthful. Ugh. Learn how to breathe next time, Derek. My god. Okay. Right, come on, Whooper. Come on. No burn, no burns, no burns, no burns, no burns. Thank you. And ooh, critical, sweet. Just no criticals and no burns, please. Okay, good. Okay. Then one more potion. And hopefully I should be able to last uh, enough for this particular battle against Emil here. Come on, baby. Okay. Oh, I need to hurry up. Okay. Oh boy, that's not good. That's definitely not good. Sorry, Quagmire. All right, Weed Leaf. Let's see what you got. Okay, come on. Why'd you go to the lair? I'm clearly at the disadvantage here. Oh boy. Uh, I'll go for a Razor Leaf and way that it takes it down. Cause this thing has a good critical hit ratio. Ah shit. Come on. Please, please. 
Yes! At least it was enough. Thank God. Level 15. Ooh! Time to learn poison powder! You bet I will. Uh, let's... Let's give it a growl. Okay! That was good! Emil was defeated. <laughs> Useless Pokemon. Listen, you. You only won because my Pokemon were weak. Eh, quit your whining, you red-headed stepchild. I hate the weak Pokemon. I hate the weak Pokemon trainers. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who or what. I'm going to be strong and wipe out the weak. That goes for Team Rocket, too. They act big and tough in a group, but I get them alone, and they're weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way. A weakling like you is only a distraction. Uh... This coming from the guy who actually lost to said weakling, doesn't that make you a double weakling? Or a serious weakling? I, I, I don't know. I really shouldn't... I really shouldn't question that kind of watch. But anyway. Uh, now that that's out of the way, it's over! Okay. So, let's get out of here. Okay, um, let's see here. Alright, um... Welcome to the Ilex Forest! Now, in the Ilex Forest... Um, let me see something. Okay, okay, um... There are three new Pokemon that you can find out here. Wait, wait, wait three. Oh yeah, three Pokemon. Uh, first off, is this a little doodad? Oddish. Oddish is... Alright, I guess. It's not bad. Not great. Um, I recommend that you catch an Oddish, because it can learn uh, Cut, which is very nice. But, uh, but... Oddish, don't you dare be like this. I'm not even doing any damage to you, so you should at least give me some respect for that. But anyway. Um, the next up is Venonet. Venonet is... Surprisingly, a Pokemon is not too bad, I guess. Um, even if one evolves, it becomes alright, I guess. But despite its evolution that can clearly fly, it, can, it can't actually get hurt by poor... It can actually get hit by ground type. My pet set cuts in, down, cuts the trees for charcoal took off for me. I can't go looking for it here in the Ilex Forest. It's too big, dark, and scary for me. You wimp. Anyway, um... Alright, now the last Pokemon you can find out here is Paris. Paris is a horrible Pokemon. I don't recommend this Pokemon, even if you wanted one on your team. Uh, it is not a bad idea to catch one of these down here, because it is a decent HM slave, I guess. But, um... You can actually get, um... Okay, um... Okay... Oh. Gotta wait for it to... The other way. Look up. Look up, please. There we go. Oh. Okay, that didn't work. But, um, I guess while I'm working at it... Wait. Oh yeah, I already covered all the other Pokemon in here. Speaking of though, we actually found a Venonat! Okay, um... I'm glad you're gonna go ahead and just uh, keep you know, taking down some of these Pokemon, because I do want my Weed Leaf to evolve. Which I think it actually does in the next level, by the looks of it. Come on. There we go. There we go! Weed Leaf grew to level 16! And I bet you know what that means! It's evolving. Well, I've forgotten how the sprite changes look so different in these older games. It evolved into Bayleaf. Yay! Okay. Now let's go ahead and get that Farfetch right there. Because I do want to reach Golden Rod City before ending this off. And I knew I should have gotten some more repels before I left. I knew I should have made that other turn in Albuquerque. Anyone? Or Moody Tunes show? Anyone remember that? Okay, anyway. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm gonna be here forever, am I? Because I remember back when I used to play Gold when I was pretty young. 
Uh, I always had a hard time getting through uh, the Ilex Forest because it was just so dang long and I kept getting myself lost. We can play Sonic's in here? Okay. Oh! Okay, actually, yes, we can find Psyduck out here! Uh, I guess I'll go and cover Psyduck. Psyduck is a very interesting Pokemon, I have to, do, I have to say. Okay, nope. You, come on. Don't be like that. Nope. Can you at least look? Dang it. Okay, uh, as I was saying, Psyduck itself is not a bad Pokemon. It's bulky, but... Unfortunately, I don't really recommend it that much because some of the moves that it learns just don't, don't come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, I know what we need to do. I know what we need to do. Gotta get that far fetch back to him. It was different in uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I remember now. There we go. Come on. There we go. And I run into another wild Pokemon. Okay. Okay, here we go. Wow, thanks a whole bunch. My boss's Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have any, because I don't have a badge. All right, who are you? Ah, my Farfetch. You found it first, kid. Without it, we wouldn't be able to cut trees off our charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I thank you? I know. Here, take this. HMO one, cut. Woo! All right, that's the cut, HM. Teach that to a Pokemon to clear small trees. Of course, you have to have the gym badge from his area to use it. I am so sorry to any of you guys who speak like that. <laughs> okay, um, where? Oh, by the way, um, off screen, I actually forgot about this, but I went back to the Pokemon Center before the Union Cave and I got the old rod. So, I kind of forgot about that. So, whoops! Okay. Alright, uh, Oddish? If you will. Thank you. Okay, I want to go ahead and reach uh, Goldenrod City, then we'll call quits for this episode. I did not run into any more Pokemon, that is. Because I've already ran into enough of those already, but I knew I should have gotten more pals. Uh, doesn't matter now. I'm already knee-deep into it. Um, also, there's also a guy out here in the um, Ilex Forest. It's basically in the center of the forest close to a pond, and this person will actually give you headbutt as a TM. Um, now it's actually very useful for um, hitting these small trees right here, and um, it can actually help you find three Pokemon that you can find out here. Um, actually, yeah, this is going to take me a little while, so I guess um, while I'm at it, I guess I can talk about those three Pokemon. Um, one of them is Pineco. Pineco is not a bad Pokemon at first. Until it evolves into Fortress at a later level. I'll make an exception for the bios for this one as um, you can't find Fortress later on. Fortress is a wall. If you want a wall, you got it. Um, it has a very nice typing of being a Bug Steel type, but unfortunately, it is basically outclassed by multiple other ones that are Bug Steel types. Especially for Scizor in this particular game. Which is not a bad Pokemon, I guess. Um, and then, yeah, another one you can find by hitting these trees at a later point is Heracross. Heracross is an awesome uh, bug fighting type. Um, that, while it may not have some of the best stats out there, oops, um, it does have a very nice physical attack strength. That will pretty much just make any psychic type cry. Yeah. And then finally, the last one that you can find is Apom. Apom sucks horribly. Now, if it could evolve in the um, in this particular game, then I would probably recommend it a whole lot more. But 
I don't really you know, recommend a palm that much. And who are you? I didn't know that this guy was a trainer, but you know what? Fine, fine, fine. You wanna be like that? I'll be like that. Okay. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Just... I just didn't know that guy was a trainer. So let's just go ahead, take out this Paris, move all our lives, and we'll go on our way. Actually, you know what? I'm actually gonna cut it right when we get to the... Just when we get outside of IOX Force, because I'm actually a little bit over time for this. Okay. I guess that's just what happens for when I don't get any repels! <sighs> now, if I didn't find a shiny Pokemon, then that'll be different. But... Whoa. Just... to me, game! Why? I was having such a good one for this, and now you're making me go and fight Pokemon that are back-to-back -back all the frickin' time? What did I ever do to you? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. But anyway, talk to this lady right here. She gives you a Team 12 Sweet Set. Uh, use it whenever Pokemon appear. Pokemon will be addicted and fighting. I don't care. We're done! Yeah, nope, nope. I'm not going any further. But anyway, we're gonna call quits for this episode, so next time... We're going to be heading for Golden Rock City and see what all we can do there. Alright, see you guys then.